So you wanna know how to prank? These pranks are perfect for graduation parties. Check them out. This prank is a graduation cake prank. What you're gonna do is get an empty cake box. That's right, completely empty. And we're gonna make it look like there's a cake inside that gets destroyed. You're gonna need some whipped cream and some sprinkles to pull this off. Shake up the whipped cream and spray it on the inside of your box. You wanna get the cake box that has the cake window display in it, and you're gonna take the remainder of your whipped cream and you're gonna put it on the inside part of the cake display window. Next up, you wanna take your sprinkles and you're gonna sprinkle it on the inside of your cake. Hey, stop eating the prank. Don't eat this prank. Take some packing tape and seal it as well. So this prank is perfect when you're delivering the graduation cake to the party. Here's what you do. I got the cake! Whoa. Oh my god, I dropped the cake. Oh no, mom and dad is super stressed. Don't tell me the cake is ruined. God, is the cake ruined? Oh, it's ruined. What did you do? How are we gonna get a graduation cake for little Johnny or S Samantha or whatever the hell their son's name, daughter's name is? They're gonna want you to open the cake. When you open it, it's just a prank. There's nothing in there. The real graduation cake is actually in my car. Let me go get it for you. This prank is perfect to pull on your teacher or maybe your parents. Get some balloons and fill them up. Go to a door with a window. What you're gonna do is get one of these big weather window sealers that you can get in the winter time to insulate your house, keep the cold air out. So it's a giant plastic sheet basically. And what we're gonna do, tape it to the window, put all the balloons in front of it, and make it look like this room is packed from Board is ceiling with balloons. So when you're finished, your window should look like this on the inside. And on the outside, it looks like the whole inside is stacked from floor to ceiling with balloons. Do this to every window in the house, every window with the door. Stack them all up with balloons and then call your mom or dad and say, yo, the whole place is filled with balloons, look, and take pictures of all the windows they'll think that the entire house is filled with balloons. This prank will be a little messy, so get a towel to prepare your prank on top of. Get a glass to catch any liquids that you're not gonna need, scissors, and a lighter. So what we're gonna do is take these freezy pops and some food coloring, and we're gonna put them inside. Check it out. I'm gonna take a pair of scissors, and I'm gonna cut the top right off, the very tippy top. Then I'm gonna empty a little bit of the liquid out, so I have some room to work with. Drop in some food coloring. Now we have to seal the freezy pops. I'm taking a lighter and I'm going to just melt the very tippy top of the freezy ice pack. No leak. The ice pop is sealed. Mix in the food coloring, put this in the freezer, and what should happen is when they go to eat their freezy pop, anybody at the graduation party who has a blue freezy pop will have blue teeth. And you can do this for the green, red, and all the other colors they have. Just get the food coloring and put them in. Let's test it out, see what happens. Good morning, it's the next day, and we're gonna try out our frozen freezy pops. The blue freezy pop looks a little more purplish, but um, they all look the same. I would not have any uh, issue eating this one, so let's cut it open and see if our teeth turn blue. Mmm. Tastes good. Mmm. Tastes really good. Oh yeah. Oh! <laughs> it already worked on two bites. I didn't see the tongue part. Oh my god. So everybody that's gonna be eating this at your graduation party is going to have a colored mouth, green, red, blue. So when you have a graduation party, usually you have people over at your house for the party, or you guys will go rent out a venue, like a clubhouse, or go to a picnic place where they have public bathrooms. People go to the graduation party and they have to go to the bathroom. So what you can do is swap out the toilet paper with sandpaper. Check it out. I gutted out the paper towel roll. Now I take some sandpaper, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just go ahead and wrap it around the paper towel roll. So obviously if you have a paper towel roll and it's got sandpaper on it, no one's gonna go for it. So what you do is you take one 
roll of the toilet paper and you wrap it around. But you don't want to give them too much, so. Now it looks like toilet paper. Someone's gonna come, they're gonna take the toilet paper. Oh man. What we've done here is we've ruined the toilet paper by putting a hole in the middle and ripping it here at the ends. So they really can't use but one little ply. And then all this sandpaper pops out. <laughs> they're gonna be holding sandpaper in their hand and they're gonna have to make a choice. Am I gonna wipe with this sandpaper? Or am I gonna wipe with this little bitty rectangle right here? Or this one with the hole right in the middle? We only have one really good ply to use. Let me know in the comments below if you could wipe with this little tiny piece of toilet paper. Or would you try to use the sandpaper? Ooh, I think we're gonna have to try and make this work. What about you? Let me know in the comments below. So for this prank, we're using cockroaches, fake ones. I have this one stuck to my finger by using putty. So get some fake cockroaches and some putty, mounting putty. I got a whole bag of these cockroaches, so there's plenty to go around for this prank. Take this putty and some scissors and cut off little rectangles so you can fit them on the back of your cockroaches, like so. And we're gonna use this putty because it's better than tape. I've used tape in the past. Putty will actually stick to the wall better and it won't leave any residue or marks. But we're gonna take these cockroaches and you're gonna stick them by a vent, just like that. And line up a bunch of cockroaches around the vent so it makes it look like Oh my gosh, these things are coming out of the vent. Can you imagine if your mom or dad, especially your mom, was going to check out this graduation location for your party? And she saw all these cockroaches. It's creeping me out just by looking at it on camera. That is disgusting. Disgusting! So the lights are out. When I turn the lights on in the room, don't say a word. Wait till they notice that. Oh my gosh. So prank at your own risk. Uh, I got this on Amazon. This is some creepy, creepy stuff, man. <laughs> Get ready. Get ready. Oh my god! Whoa, man! Look at that guy! Whoa, moly! What a scary freaking creature that is! Oh wow! So here's what you do with the prank. Get a stack of paper plates, set it right next to the food. When someone takes that top plate off, bow! There's your spider right there in front of their face. Can you imagine their, can you imagine that reaction if you saw that spider sitting on your plate? Now, you have to use your imagination a little bit because I do not want to take this spider out of the box just yet. This thing is so real. I don't want to take this tarantula out of the box because it's being preserved right now. Look at that guy. So I just cut out the paper plates to give you the example of what it would look like if he was out of the box. Give this video a thumbs up if you agree and you want me to do a prank with this guy and save him for now so I can scare somebody later. Let me know in the comments below where I should put this guy and if you're afraid of spiders, let me know in the comments below. Now for this prank, practice safety and caution. Prank at your own risk. We're gonna use Color Mist, this is a food coloring spray as spray paint. Um, you can only use it on certain surfaces. I don't know all of the surfaces you can or can't use them on. I know I wouldn't use it on drywall and I will use it on a door that's painted because I can wipe it right off afterwards. But you get some food coloring spray, it's called Color Mist and you can spray paint on the wall, on the door. Right? So you could be like, X, O, X, O. Right? Or you could be like, N, B, P, 
tea. And your mom will walk in and be so pissed off. Like, what are you doing to our place? We have a deposit down. We're not going to get it back. Why are you doing this? Like, I don't care. I graduated. I could do whatever I want. She will freak out, be so pissed. You can just put whatever message you want on there. And then when she's freaking out and getting all upset, she takes an alcoholic wipe and it wipes right off. I recommend using a smooth surface so it's easier to clean. Cleaning inside these little cracks and divots just takes about 10 more seconds to clean. I can't guarantee you that this will clean off of every surface. Again, prank at your own risk. Use this at your own risk. If you're unsure if this will cause any damage to the surface you're spraying, spray a little test spot. Let it sit there and dry and then see if you can clean it off. If you can't, it's not that big of a spot you have to worry about cleaning up. So again, use caution and try and use smooth surfaces uh, uh, that have paint on them or something so it's just easy to wipe off and clean up. But these come in different colors and it's very, very convincing that you are spray painting something. So this is a super cool prank to pull on your friends and family, especially at a graduation party, to get a lot of attention. People think, oh my gosh, he's gone mad. This one is a perfect graduation prank gift. Imagine getting this giant safe for a graduation present. And it comes with a key and the instructions are, open this last for everyone to see. So you're all nervous, you don't know what's going on. You insert this key, everyone's watching. You unlock it. You pop open the safe, everyone's looking. And there you go, that's what you see. Drugs, gun, money. Um, I'll just take this and this and this and uh, you guys can have the rest. I don't know what the people's reactions will be. They'll be like, are you serious? What the heck is this? I mean, it is graduation. This would be a pretty good st starter kit for college, I guess. Maybe for like drug college. But this is an airsoft gun. It's not real. That's the spider I wrapped up. This is flower. That's oregano. No, this is parsley leaves. And these are all fake cash. I mean, you gotta make it a cool present. Put the real money on top, like maybe a hundred bucks on top. This is all fake. But this would be such an epic graduation gift prank to give somebody and to have them open it in front of everybody. Watch them squirm. That would be awesome. What do you think about this one? Let me know in the comments below. Let me know which one of these pranks was your favorite in the comment below and make sure you leave a timestamp so I can see exactly which prank you're talking about. Check out my website, prankkits.com. Please give this video a thumbs up. Live inspired, shock the world. See you next time. So there you go, dead body in the bed. Perfect prank to pull on a maid when you're checking out.